Hey, how you doing? Uh, there was some uh, driving videos requested, and I had to take an errand and go over to uh, my rental house and get my vacuum so my wife will clean our regular house. Uh, I thought I'd show everybody the wonderful sights of <clears throat> Great Brookville, Ohio. Wonderful, ain't it? Kind of, uh, what you call, flat, farmland, horses. This guy right here, I want to try and talk to him sometime, but he's kind of aloof. He's got a couple of bikes and he rides a lot also. <clears throat> it's kind of hard for me to do a driving video on my bike because I don't have a GoPro or a mount or anything for my camera. So this seemed like a good opportunity to do a driving video. Sorry if the camera gets a little weird because uh, I'm going to burn one. A cigarette, by the way. I don't do drugs. Hard left. There's a house for sale. A couple of blue hairs looking at it. Look at that. More corn. Imagine that. beans maybe. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Boat for sale. I should get that and maybe uh, I know where there's a Yugo for sale. Maybe I could make a amphibious Yugo. That'd be waste of perfectly two worthless objects, wouldn't it? Hey, might come up some good out of it, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting tired of making this drive over to the rental house, trying to get some people in there to rent it out. The last bonehead I had in there pretty much destroyed the place. Quit paying the rent about 18 months ago. I've been making two house payments out of what some people would probably call a pretty small paycheck, but we've managed to get by, <clears throat> survive, make a few compromises here and there, like ride a motorcycle when it's 40 degrees out to get twice the gas mileage my Ford Escape Hybrid, but which is, <clears throat> the hybrid does get pretty decent gas mileage. It gets a little bit better. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having a kind of a cold spell here and it's kind of hard to breathe and talk. And what Pisser calls chooching up too. Uh, anyways, the hybrid gets it's about 33 to 35 miles a gallon. I kind of drive it pretty easy. Maybe a little better than some folks do, but it's no speed demon. But yeah, they get you there when there's two feet of snow on the ground and you can't ride the bike. Well. I don't want to say can't ride the bike, shouldn't ride the bike, because I have seen some of the people on uh, <clears throat> BMWs. They're pretty good about riding no matter what. Another hard left. Woohoo! All right. Get some, almost got some field Baja action happening there. There's a farmer. He kind of looked like a farmer too, had that I don't know, farmer look. 
pretty well weathered. These guys work pretty hard out here. As we'll have tremendous amounts of rain in planting season, they won't be able to get out and plant. Get a couple of days dry, they really bust their humps and get out there and plant the crops. And sometimes we don't get rain for a few weeks or we get a little piddly here and there. And they get out and take care of it, water it, fertilize it, clean everything up. Or like this guy here, he does a lot of hay. Man, I need to be on that hay wagon. I'm not really a, a farmer, but I've grown up around farms here and there. I have one out and help stack hay on the hay wagon behind the baler. Man, that's <laughs> that's pretty hard stuff to do right there. That's what you call work. Oh yes, another field. I get this thing to zoom. Oh, I'm already zoomed. <laughs> Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. One of the ways I get good gas mileage on my car, I don't really like to do it on my bike, it's kind of dangerous. So in my car, I, uh, I juice the uh, tire pressure up to about 50 PSI. Helps me get a little bit better gas mileage. The tires don't seem to be wearing too bad. I got about 75,000 on this set. I think I need to get another set sometime soon. That's another reason I've been riding a bike. Is six, seven hundred dollars for a set of tires is a whole lot of jack. Yeah, we'll be coming up on another field here in a second. That place right there was was pretty nice. It wasn't bad. I don't know if the storm took it down or the barn looked good for a while, and then all of a sudden it just kind of looked like it was termites holding the hands in the shape of a barn. Wow, well, you guys probably missed that. There's a 53 Chevy truck I hadn't seen sitting around in a while. It was, Got some billet wheels on it, flat black paint. Somebody making a little hot rod. There's continuation of the field here. A whole lot of farmland around here. But uh, we're not really not too far from the city. I work pretty much in downtown. Hold on, I got cop here. like I wasn't distracted while I was driving. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I think it's about 14 miles to downtown Dayton. I don't know, it might be 18. I forget. And I just, like automatic, I get on my bike in the morning and start it up and it just kind of goes where it's supposed to go. Another field. AC here. I don't like running the AC because it, you can tell a big difference in gas mileage on this thing with the AC on. Uh, probably because it takes about 20% of the horsepower of this whole 2.3 to run the air compressor, air conditioning compressor. up there doing looks like he's got lost run off the road well I'm here there's the horse uh, I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye